Welcome back to the channel, guys. We appreciate you once again for tuning in and liking and subscribing to our videos. In this video, we've had a lot of requests for the installation on our four degree advanced timing cam sprocket and what it does and how you install it. I'm gonna show you that in this video real quick. There's several other videos out there just showing changing of timing chains and cams and things like that. You can refer to those, but basically this is in there and it's real quick to change. Let's get started. Okay guys, there's very few tools needed for this job. I have a big impact with a 17 and I have a small impact with a five millimeter Allen, 10 millimeter, two flat screwdrivers and I just happen to like using a 17, 17 millimeter T-handle for adjusting the engine to top dead. But this is just how quick and easy it is. We're going to remove these plugs You can see this one already has one of our cam sprockets in it. Doesn't matter, the process is, is still the same. So what we're doing here is we need to find top dead center on the engine, not only down here at the flywheel, but also up here at the cam. So your cam gear, your stock cam gear has a line on it. Can you see that, this line? And this points to the top, to this arrow right here. So we're going to get that line on your stock one lined up with that arrow. So it should be just like this. Now we're going to rotate the engine by hand, like I'm doing here, until we get to the top dead center mark on the flywheel. Now there are two sets of marks, and we want to make sure that the mark that you're on is top dead center and not the firing marks. You can see in that hole, Tater, but those marks there, it looks like a capital H or an I-beam or something like that. That is not it. That is your firing marks. And if you continue to go counterclockwise a few more degrees, that next mark is top dead. So that's what you're looking for. And we'll come back up top. You probably are pretty close to this line being lined up with this pointer on top. However, if you have really any time or age at all on your engine and your cam chain has any wear on it, it's gonna have a little bit of slack. As the cam chain gets a little bit of slack, the tensioner pushes in further, which naturally rotates the cam into a retarded timing position. So yours probably, if you have any time on your engine, looks something like this and you're probably your mark is probably a little behind or a little to the right of this indicator it probably looks something like this next we are going to now that i have found top dead i'm going to remove this cap nut or cap bolt that caps the mechanism on the tensioner, and I'm just gonna use a small uh, number one flat to go down in that hole. And we're going to tighten, like normal tighten, like clockwise. And you'll feel the, you know, you're feeling spring tension. You're compressing a spring as you tighten this. And then it will bottom out and stop. And now you have a loose cam chain, just like we see here. Now, this is where you need an assistant to hold this for you while you do this job. So it takes, takes three hands. See if you can hold it, Tater. I'm gonna take my impact, loosen this cam bolt. Now I'm going to take the cam sprocket off. Roll the chain off of it. And I don't wanna drop this. If I drop it, I'm gonna be hating life for a little while, trying to fish it back out. So I generally try to bend it over, make zip tie it, something to make sure it stays. So that's as quick as and easy as it is. So I, these new sprockets, when you get one from us, it will have the stamp 
that you will know as top dead that you'll line up with your mark on top, just like this. And they will indicate that one side is plus four and one side is negative four. So obviously four degrees advanced of cam timing, it'll say plus four. If you flip it over, then it is a negative four. It will, it's four degrees of retarded cam timing. So that's not what we're going for. We're gonna, we're using it in the advanced mode. And so I'm gonna double check and make sure that we're still on top dead because it will move very easily and not. So there it is. It's moved it just a little on me. I'm going to reinstall this just like it was. And if I'm a tooth off, which I am, I'm a couple teeth off, and it's gonna roll it around. <laughs> it's about to go the right direction. This way. My close. There's my dot. And I'm still one out, I think. So now, let's double check the top bed one more time. It's, it moves really easily. It's close. Right there, if I can make the motor stay. Stay motor. Yeah, and so this one was before we moved the dot down further, but there's my dot. Here's my indicator. We're lined up up top. And we are still lined up on the bottom. So it is in time. Now you can release that. All right. Tensioner's tight. It will stay. And I can reassemble it in the reverse order. Now obviously, you'll want to torque this to spec. Don't forget to put in this little, there's no other adjustment required here. It's spring loaded. Just put the cap bolt back on it. Don't forget to put these caps back on. We don't want any oil leaks. They're plastic, don't over tighten them. And for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to hit this with impact. Cover back on. And that's it. It can literally be done with just like four tools and a few minutes of your time. Just double check your work, make sure you've done everything correctly. It is a good practice to go ahead and once you think that you have the timing set correctly to go ahead and rotate the engine a couple of revolutions. Just double check, make sure that everything is correct. This one's been apart and back together many, many times, so we know this one's right. Okay, guys, I hope that was quick and easy for you to understand and be able to follow. Now for the reasons why we're doing this. This engine is just an air pump, like all combustion engines, and it's all about just more in, more out. One modification by itself is not going to be very noticeable in any way, shape, or form. If you just put on a pipe and you don't, jet properly everything has to match it's all about tuning everything together when you make a change the bike is no longer in tune it runs poorly it runs worse than it did before this cam sprocket by itself with no other modifications is not really noticeable it is designed as a tool for engine tuners and it works really well as i've shown in another video before with other modifications. If you have a pipe and a carburetor jet kit and more of a free-flowing air box, and we are working on an aftermarket air box lid, then this cam sprocket really, really shines. And I showed that in one of our other performance videos. So don't expect to get anything out of it if you don't have any other mods. But if you have some of these other basic mods, it really shines and I know you'll really enjoy it. So I hope you found this video informative. 
Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.